G'day guys, Samson here, and today I'm back with another eBay reseller thrift haul video. I've got a bunch of men's clothing items that I bought at my local Salvos. I did actually pay $35, I used a half off card, it was going to be around $70, and I got 11 items for $35, so really not too bad in terms of the average cost of goods. I did get some really cool stuff this time while I was out, so I thought I'd make a video and I'd show you guys what I'm buying to sell on eBay. Alright, the first item that I got were these Adidas track pants. These I believe are actually a woman's uh, pair of track pants, they do actually have the three stripes going down the side here. They are Climalite, which I'm pretty sure is Adidas's like activewear kind of sub uh, activewear line or whatever. And I paid three dollars fifty for these because they were half off. And yeah, they look really cool. You don't usually find them in a yellow. I should have no trouble getting like around thirty dollars for these. I'm pretty sure. All right, the next item I did get were these uh, whip curl denim shorts. So these I got because they are a 42 waist, which is a very unusual size. Always be looking out for the uh, pants and the shirts which have a really unusual size because since the size is unusual, less stores will stock it and less other sellers will be selling it. It'll just be easier to get profit out of these items because the people who do need clothing in this size uh, have less options basically so if you can provide that option you will definitely make some more sales okay the next uh, item of clothing I got was this polo Ralph Lauren standard brown polo I paid three bucks for this um, yeah it, I sell these for $25 20 to 25 it's just a bread and butter item I thought I'd include it because it is something that I buy a lot of as long as there's no flaws on the item I am happy to buy the standard Ralph Lauren polo shirts this one is a 2XL as well, I'm pretty sure, which is a very good size. I also got this Under Armour kind of active wear long sleeve here. Uh, perfect for winter, I would say, if you're doing sport outside in the cold. You know, it will keep you warm without being too heavy and it won't restrict your movement. And also Under Armour is a quite a good brand in terms of active wear. This is a 2XL as well, so I should have no trouble getting around $25 for this item. I paid $3 for it. Okay, so the next few items I got are actually very similar. I got a bunch of these Levi's men's jeans. These ones are in a nice black kind of dark wash, and they're all around the same size with like a 36-ish waist. These ones are 36, 32, and they're 514. I assume the same person, person uh, dropped them all off, and I was able to get them for $3.50 a pair, guys, uh, down from $7 because I used my half-off card. And what you can see here is that it is an orange tag on these Levi's. And basically what that meant is that the orange tag at Salvo's this week was the new tag. So it meant they've been in stores only since this morning because it is a Monday. And I was able to basically snipe these before anyone else could get a chance to look at them. I got all of the Levi's jeans. I think it was four pairs I've gotten here, maybe five, and yeah, I was able to get them before anyone else could even have a look at them. So there's these nice black ones here. These ones are more of a classic wash. These are 36-34s. These ones are a dark blue wash. These are 5-11s, which I'm pretty sure is like one of Levi's most classic, most famous styles in men's jeans. All of these Levi's jeans I should have no trouble getting upwards of $25, $30 for them, possibly more, especially the black dark wash ones, because that's a rarer wash. A general rule is anything that is unique in jeans or even in clothing in general obviously attracts a higher price point. And the last pair are these nice dark wash with this black tag here. These are a 36, 32. So it's likely that the same person donated all of these Levi's jeans. I was able to pick them up for $3.50 a piece. Alright, now for some shirts. So, the first shirt I got from this Salvos was this Paul Smith London, size 17 and a half. Uh, this is a green striped business shirt. Really nice kind of pattern, light green I guess. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what shade of green it is, but it's a lighter shade. It's got a front pocket on it. And Paul Smith is a brand that does do well for me. It is a long sleeve, so that's a plus in the winter months, and I should be able to get around $30 for this item. I only paid $3 for it. 
But the next shirt I got here is this Diesel Bland Men's Polo shirt. I'm not so sure about this one. I might only be able to get around 20 bucks for it. I didn't really do comps while I was actually in the store. I didn't really check on eBay what the things were actually worth. I went off instinct. And when I went home, I realized that Diesel shirts aren't really selling that well at the moment. Should still be about $20 in it for this item, but it goes to show you, you know, not everything that I find is a hit. Sometimes you, you find items that you regret buying or whatever and at the end of the month when I do my sales of the month I often go over that as well, you know, items that I regret buying or I wish I didn't pay as much for. This is alright though because I only paid $3 for it and it should return me profit hopefully. Alright, the final item I got at Salvos today was this Calvin Klein Jeans men's button up. Calvin Klein Jeans is a pretty hit or miss brand for me but I'm hoping the fact that I only paid $2 for this, it shouldn't be too much of a hassle to get around $20 to $25 for it. It's more of a bread and butter item like that Ralph Lauren polo shirt I showed you guys earlier, but still worth my time to pick up for the cost. Alright, so that concludes the items that I got on this haul. As I said, I paid $35 for 11 items, so just over $3 uh, per piece. I'm pretty sure that works out. I have decided to create a bit of a schedule for my videos, so you'll be seeing this video it should come out around 7pm on a Monday night, and I also want to release a video at 7pm on a Friday night as well. So 7pm Monday and 7pm Friday, Australian Eastern Standard Time, is when you can expect videos from me. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.